Boutique Rock presents. We carried out an investigation sufficient to start a biggest class action in the world world history. Look at the statistics. Here's Apple's market share in mobile phones in US. The use of the same phone numbers by different people at different time periods is inevitable. According to the US government, the number of reassigned SIM cards reaches approximately 35 million. That is 100,000 phone numbers every day. In order to be able to use iMessage and FaceTime services, the user's phone number is to be associated with an Apple ID account. Here's the current verification procedure. In the period from 2010 to 2018, associating a user's phone number with an Apple ID did not imply double verification. Thanks to TigRock, all these violations were revealed. Only after seven years, we forced Apple to correct this huge mistake. Are you sure you are the first iPhone user of your phone number? How often do you share your private information with iMessage or FaceTime? Now, I'd like to tell you three sad stories about somebody's lives. What in the world can be brighter than a smile of a child? Thanks to Apple services, we've become accustomed to sharing emotions with loved ones. These moments fill our heart with love and joy. And we're sure Apple will keep it safe. In various situations, we share ID documents, important financial papers, even credit card photos with our close people. Oh, come on. Everyone has done that at least once because it's so convenient and we trust Apple. Everything is safe. U.S. remembers sad examples when thousands of secret messages were sent via personal emails. It's not difficult to imagine a situation where senior officials exchange confidential information using Apple services. In relation to email, this way of communication may seem more advantageous to many keepers of secrets. At the same time, absolute retrograde cannot stop this progress. Using personal accounts at work is inevitable, especially when the tabloids say it is safe. The power of progress is inexorable energy develops the society. Fascinating communication as never before. Our confidence in Apple services security is rather clear. Our world is evolving, so we use these possibilities. So, where's Apple's fault? Ignoring double verification which was available at the market, during the registration of Apple ID and their association with the users for numbers, most likely led to catastrophic criminal consequences. Without any intervention since 2010, our emotions, personal media files, financial documents and ideas, corporate and state secrets were leaked to the first users of phone numbers, which were very likely Apple customers as well. Hundreds millions of claimants are just one side of the issue. Obvious threats to national security are subject to identification and the relevant assessments. Just imagine, on the initiative of the world's largest private company, since 2010, over seven years, the software was created, which operated perfectly well and allowed bad guys to get access to state and corporate correspondence without any hacking and interference from outside. Why TIGROC? Because we have the evidence. We do not claim that all first users are bad guys. By the way, we are one of the first users. Are you one of us? We are looking for the whistleblowers and potential claimants. Our aim is to unite whistleblowers and claimants. What is bigger? Million or one? Million? One. One army of law-abiding citizens, a real army united by one leader with one purpose. Our purpose is to find law and get justice. Let's change seven dangerous years under Apple to equal justice under law. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram.